Let's try and understand dictionary data structure in Seashell. This is a very useful data structure. It allows you to store key and value pairs. So here, what we're doing is we're creating a dictionary that holds the key, which is in string data type format, and the value is also string. And our variable is called countries. So what we're going to do is we're going to add countries. So here we are adding, using the variable name, we're using the add met method here. So the add method here will add US, for example, here as the key and the value value would be United States and UK as the key and United Kingdom as the value and FR as key for France. Now, in order to access an item with a dictionary, you use the variable name and the key and that will give you the output of that value. And then if I run this code here, so here you can see we provided a key and we got the following output, which is United Kingdom. And then we are checking if a key exists. So FR does it exist and we get the output FR is in the dictionary over here. And then what you can do is you can loop through the dictionary using for each so these are key value pairs so we're just naming this temporary variable here so it's going to go through each dictionary item so our variable that holds the dictionary is called countries and what we're going to do is we we'll loop through that so each country of course has a key and a value so that would be for example uh, fr for france um, that would fr would be the key and france would be the value so then you can do it you can also remove uh, an item from your dictionary by by using its key so we again call our variable here countries and we're calling the remove method and providing it with a key of fr so this will remove france and then we can see a count of items within our dictionary variable and by using the count property so if i show you that down here you so you can see france was removed so we were only left with two because originally we added one two three countries but once we came here we removed france the property reflects this as two countries left in our dictionary.